Hey everyone! So, welcome again to Ash and M Animal Adventures. And I'm sure you guys have been waiting a while for the frog Q&A, White Street Frog q and I made a request for. Or, if you haven't, then I'm doing it anyways, so prepare yourselves for some Q&A and Lazuli is here to help. So, I have 11 questions, some were comments, some were set, sent in, so let's get to it. Our first question is from Tiffany Yost. So the question was, what will Wednesday eat when she is a full grown adult? So white tree frogs um, mainly eat crickets. If they're kept in captivity, so I'm feeding her crickets. She's pretty much an adult right now. She's adult size. She's actually in her shell. I cleaned her cage right now. I'm sorry, it's the camera's weird. She's in her shell right there. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there she is. Okay, I get the camera right. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, she's about adult size right now, and she eats mainly crickets. They can also eat, um, like, roaches, hornworms, and mealworms for treats, but mainly crickets with the Reptivite. That's like a powdered calcium thing you can get at the pet store. So that's what she's eating right now. So. And along with that question, she asked, how old is she? I got Wednesday on December 30th of 2020 because my brother actually gave me my brother ashton he gave me a bioactive terrarium and <laughs> right away i decided i want a white tree frog because in college some girl had a white tree frog she showed me and i was like oh my god this is so cool it just like sat on her hand it was really cool so anyways um Although she's not quite a year old, she is adult size, so I hope that answers your question. So the second comment was also by Tiffany Yost. I think we have a super fan on our hands. So that was Do Wednesday and Lazuli. Lazuli. Do Wednesday and Lazuli get along? So I keep them separate because frogs have delicate skin and I don't really want them to injure each other. Like, Lazuli has kind of a sharp beak for a small parrot. Sometimes he bites me if he's upset at me. So he has kind of a sharp beak for a small parrot and I don't want them to injure each other. So for, and for the most part, I keep Wednesday in her terrarium because they're not really supposed to have a lot of handling. Um, None at all, unless you're cleaning their terrarium, which I did today. So, not really any interaction there. And for the most part, Lazuli just ignores her terrarium, so... You know, just ignoring each other. Okay, question number three. This was by... I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong. Johan Exotic. What do you like most about the white tree frog? So I, I've always loved frogs and the white tree frog especially, I love how chubby they are and how just chill they are. As well as she can be goofy sometimes like climbing around the terrarium. And um, <laughs> they're really friendly and I like how they eat. They're just like, ah, you know, a big mouth. It's it's great. I just love everything about them. And, <laughs> you know, I've always wanted a white tree frog for a pet, so it's a dream come true. Someday I'm going to update her terrarium so it's a bit bigger, but that's going to be... Hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to wait to move. Look at that. I'm hoping to move soon. So once that happens, hopefully I'll get her a bigger terrarium. So... I am sure she will love that. Okay, I have all my questions written because <laughs> I would not be able to remember them. 
question four is by Ocean Eyes. Ooh, I love the name. I love oceans. Um, what is a good size for two whites? So for two whites, I've heard you need like a 30 gallon tank. And taller is always better because they're actually tree frogs, so they'll go up. So taller rather than wider and a 30 gallon tank is good. So I hope that answers your question. Number five, question number five, is from Agent Texas. Do you plan on getting any more White's Tree Frogs? Um, not at the moment, but maybe sometime in the future. I think it might be cool to get more White's Tree Frogs, but not right away, because, like, I'm, I'm still, like, a beginning beginner beginning I'm still like an entry level frog owner so <laughs> not quite yet I'm still getting the hang of caring for her but I love it so far okay this question is from Abel 04 do they need UVB yeah it's recommended for their health to have a UVB bulb it's always recommended so, UVB bulb. Um, lots of love for A asked, are they actually poisonous? That's a good question. So, they're not actually poisonous. I always thought they were too. Um, I always thought white tree frogs were poisonous, but um, they're actually not. The reason you hear they're poisonous is because their skin, it's like certain people, the skin can be irritating, the sec secretions from the skin, but they're not actually poisonous. Okay, Animal Lover-9381 asked, how many eggs will they lay at a time? They can lay a lot of eggs, so they can lay... 200 to a thousand eggs at a time and twice a year I believe so that is a lot of eggs of course frogs always lay a lot of eggs if you look in ponds and stuff you'll see like these big squishy masses of eggs so yeah a lot <laughs> okay oh I like the name Frog Lady 99 love it. I want to breed White's Tree Frogs. Any tips? Um, so I'm not that familiar with breeding them yet. Although I've heard it's easy to do. They're, they're ready to breed after two years. But I'm not that familiar with breeding them. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, you know, it's just n nothing I've done yet. I think it'd be cool to do. I heard you need like a bigger pool in their tank to do that, and you obviously need multiple ones. Um, yeah, I'm not that familiar with that. Um, well, let's go on to the next question. Keep it moving. So, let's see. Oh, what? Strawberry, oh, it's strawberry frog, a one underscore. Um, what is the best way to interact with your white tree frog? Oh, that's a nice question. Um, so you don't interact with them often, which is kind of a bummer for some people because they get this frog thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to hold it all the time and be best friends, but you're not really supposed to. So, but if you do want to interact with them, I will wear gloves or wash your hands a lot. And then you gotta, like, wash your hands with their water, too. Because, like, tap water can have dangerous stuff in it. So, either wear gloves or just wash your hands a bunch. Um, you can actually hand feed them crickets and stuff. 
So if you feed them in a certain spot, they will go to that spot at night because they're nocturnal. So like Wednesday around 9 or 10 p.m., she will go to the bottom of her terrarium and wait for crickets. So they'll learn to go to a certain spot if you hand feed them, like they'll go right up to the front of the terrarium, which is really cool. So that's a good way to interact with them. Plus, I just, I love watching them eat, so that's a great way. Um, I've actually heard that some white street frogs can get acclimated to being handled. So they'll just like chill on your hand. Again, it's not really recommended. They're more like a, a fish tank sort of thing where you just watch them. But you know, like, I've heard that you can do that. And... This is the last question. So, this one's by Anonymous Leech. Can, let's see, can they be cohabbed with other white tree frogs or other species of frogs? So, white tree frogs are actually pretty social, so they can be housed with other white tree frogs very easily. It's recommended at a young age to do that. And, um, this is where it gets icky. Ugh, I don't like this one. So, they can have cannibalistic tendencies, which, ugh, creepy. Um, so if you're getting multiple ones, make sure they're the about the same size frog. You don't want a tiny frog and a big frog because the big frog will eat the tiny frog. Same size frogs. White tree frogs. And um, yeah, so you can have more than one because they're social but same size. And for the different species cohabbing, I just wouldn't recommend it. Like, it's just not a good idea to cohab different species of amphibians. So, cohab white tree frogs with white tree frogs and don't put other species in with them. It's just not recommended because you don't know how those species will interact or if there's any harmful chemicals or anything on them. So yeah, same species with same species. So that's just recommended and that ends our Q&A session. I really loved answering you guys' questions and maybe in the future I'll do this again. I really enjoyed it. Um, some of them were a bit challenging for me, I'll admit, but you know, it's cool that you guys sent in these questions. Some of them were comments, some were sent in. And please keep it up. I absolutely love answering the questions and I love that you guys want to learn more about White's Tree Frogs and Wednesday. And you gotta love Wednesday, I know, right? She's great. So thank you guys so much and like and like and bleh, like and subscribe for more. Thank you. of Wednesday in her shell. She's so cute sleeping.